Well, well, welcome back to Dutch Eats. It has been a while. Um, we've been super busy on the other channel keeping it Dutch, um, but I'm gonna make some time today to put out a video for you guys because I'm gonna do, I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna challenge myself. First of all, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, I'm gonna be cooking in today's video and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what I got going on. Um, but first I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making probably, uh, hopefully a series of videos. I wanna, I'm gonna be doing something. I'm gonna be doing a challenge. I'm gonna challenge myself. And I'm gonna challenge you guys out there. Um, you guys know I've done keto before and I actually lost like 40 pounds doing keto um, in the past, put it back on. Um, so I'm gonna try something I've never done before. And uh, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do a 30 day challenge of the carnivore diet. Um, if you guys have not ever heard of it, which I'm sure you have, it's basically where you're just eating meat. And I've been watching tons of stuff on it here recently I've, I've seen stuff before in the past i know joe rogan did it for 30 days i think last january i think january is like the official uh month of the carnivore diet um so what i'm going to do i'm going to challenge you guys out there and challenge myself and i want you guys to hold me accountable on this channel <laughs> dutch eats um about doing this 30 day challenge what i'm going to try to do let me know if you guys find this interesting at all um, I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make uh, update videos of how my progress is doing over here. Um, I know um, I'm kind of like this when it comes to videos on this channel. Um, this is a, like a fun channel. It's, it's a channel that we get to show you guys cooking stuff, and we can talk. Me and Brandy talk. I've talked, and now I'm gonna do this. So um, this is uh, this is just a, <sighs> this is just a challenge I need to do. Um, I need to slim up for the house build and you guys gotta go check out my other channel keeping it dutch if you're not familiar with it we have a homesteading slash going to be off-grid channel over there and uh, we're in the process of building a pole barn cabin house in the woods i call it cabin in the woods over uh, on the off-grid property we got 36 and a half acres over there and uh, we got a well house uh, set up over there and we're in the pro progress of getting the post set so go watch um, tomorrow's vlog over on Keep It Dutch. If you're not subscribed over there, I'm almost at 300,000 subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, please go subscribe, help us out. Um, that's just that's just a milestone. It's another milestone, um, something that we never thought we'd be able to reach. And it wasn't even in, I didn't even comprehend 300,000 whenever I started a YouTube channel. But here we are today, like five or six years later, and uh, we're right there on the verge. And we're close to 20,000 on this channel. That's not bad, because I don't post as much over here, but I want to change that. Um, I've, I've said that before, and we did really good like a month ago. And then we kind of took a month off because everything brandy got sick i got sick and it just didn't work out um and, but now i'm back today so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video anyways um i challenge some of you guys if you guys are on the fence of um changing making a lifestyle change this is going to be a slow life change. it's going to be a 30 day i want to start 30 days see how it goes and then just go from there um i don't want to say i don't want to sit here and say hey i'm going to do uh i don't want i'm going to do this uh, carnivore diet for the next year i'm going to take it 30 days at a time we'll see how it goes and uh, i want to challenge you guys out there you do the same thing if that's something you want to do i know um uh diets are kind of they kind of go up now. That's how my whole life is, up and down ever since I got out of the Marine Corps. Um, I'll, I'll lose weight, I'll gain weight. I'll lose, I'm sure it's like a yo-yo effect. Probably not the health, healthiest thing, but that's just, that's just the way how I've always been. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing that. And today, um, we're gonna be cooking bratwurst. And it's not uh, just any bratwurst, it's from our pig. And uh, we just got this back yesterday. And I'm telling you, these are the best bratwurst I've ever eaten um, last year's worst. So hopefully this year is just as good. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys getting prepared, cooking and eating it, and we'll talk a little bit more about the about the uh, carnivore diet and uh, what my expectations are. And uh, I want some good feedback from you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy today's quick video on Dutch Eats. And let's get cooking with the bratwurst. Now this is a fresh cheesy bratwurst. Not for sale, so don't be trying to bite off me. I think I got five, I got five in here. I actually got 15 pounds of this. And what I always do first is I boil the water. Boil the water and then boil the brats and then go out there and finish them on the, uh, on the pellet cooker, on the pit boss. And the reason for that, um, I've, I always have trouble busting them. If I don't boil them first, um, I just boil for a couple minutes. I go out there, if I don't boil them, they'll, they'll split on me, get flare ups. This is, this is like a really easy way to prevent that. So we're gonna go ahead and boil them and then go outside.
Okay, we're back out here at the grill, and uh, you can see I'm just going to cook it just like this. I hope we don't get any flare-ups. I kind of cleaned it a little bit so we wouldn't. But we'll see how it goes. These are our fatty sausage, obviously, and uh, we'll get into all that uh, with the carnivore diet and uh, what we're going to eat and all that. So, all right, let's cook these real quick. Kind of sear it a little bit. Um, I don't want to overcook my hair, they'll blow up, and I'm going to set it to the side, cooking for a few minutes, and I let them finish up. You can see a little bit of flare up right there. That's what we don't want. So I'll just go ahead and move those off the fire. That's all from the grease. All right, broths are very, very easy to make. You guys probably don't need that big of a lesson on them. Uh, but yeah, I think these are going to be done. That one, uh, did that when I was boiling it. So I, as far as I can tell, none of them busted on me. But that's a good thing. Okay, I'll show you cutting into one of these real quick and then taste testing it. Let's make sure it's done. Oh yeah. Ooh, hot. Okay, I let these cool down for a minute, but they're still hot. Let's try one. <laughs> so dang good. I'm telling you, the best I've ever had. The, the, still the best I've ever had. I'll be back in just a second. Hope he wants to try it again. Here you go. Get it. <laughs> Is it good? Mm-hmm. Come here, Hallie. has been doing a lot better on her meats. Do you like it? If, yeah. Be honest. Is it good? Yeah. Hey, do you want to try another bite? Yeah. Don't cut my finger. Oh, I need to hold it. Yeah. Do like this tiny piece. Tiny. You were surprised at first, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I would have filmed the first reaction, but uh, I didn't know they were going to want some. But hey, they all liked it. I was like, I'll tell you, they're the best I've ever had. That's probably the first time they've ever had bratwurst. Okay, I'll finish this video up out here on the back porch. Um, it is starting to get a little cold out here. Um, but hey, guys, I just wanted to. Uh, like I said, I heard Abe in the background. I wanted to make a video today um, showing the bratwurst, um, but talking about the um, carnivore diet, if you guys have any um, experience with it whatsoever, leave me some comments down below. I've done the keto before, like I said earlier. It's similar, but it's not the same. Um, as far as everything I've read and watched, this is pretty much like no carbs. And uh, I know, um, I already know what some of the comments are gonna be about this. This is just how, I, just how I've always done things. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, I want to challenge you guys too. Um, if you guys are wanting to lose a little weight and get back in shape and, and change your diet up, this might be something that you want to do. Look it up on, on YouTube or Google it or read a book about it. And uh, if, it th if you think it's right for you, then try it with me. And uh, we'll, help, we'll hold each other accountable down in the comments section. Um, let me know how often you guys want to see updates. Do you want to see like every couple days, every three or four days? Um, I kind of tell you guys what, what I've been eating uh, today was day one. This is why I wanted, this is gonna be a late video, um, getting getting this video out, but I wanted to do it so you guys can be prepared for tomorrow if you watch it. I'll give you 30 days, there's 31 days in, uh, in December, so today's December 1st. Um, I started today, um, but if you wanna to start tomorrow and still get your 30 days in for the month, you can, and uh, that'll be awesome. Uh, we'll see how many people we can get on board to do this. Um, it's, it's, as far as I know, it's meat, cheese, and eggs. It's pretty much all you can have. Uh, you know, drink lots of water, obviously. Um, so today I had some uh, I had some cheese and I had uh, some pork chop from the pig that we got back yesterday 
Oh, and two fried eggs and some bacon. The eggs and bacon, uh, the eggs were from the homestead and bacon was from the pig that we got back also. Um, so all homegrown today besides the cheese. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna take some of the bratwurst to work tomorrow obviously because I got a couple, few left over, three left over. And uh, we'll take those and probably some more cheese or something. But um, just leave me some comments down below. What, what do you guys think? Some of you guys may be on this. Um, like I said earlier, I know Joe Rogan, he's a very popular person in the world. Um, and he, he did it and he said it. he felt amazing doing it. He's like the first two weeks is pretty rough. And you'll just have to watch it and see what he says about it. Um, I won't go into detail on that. But uh, um, we'll see how it goes. Like, I, I think I got a couple guys from work that are going to do it with me. Um, I think my brother's going to do it with me. Well, we'll see how this goes. Um, one thing about me, once I start this, I'm going to do it. Um, I, and Brady will, Brandy will tell you, how do you eat a hamburger patty for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I, I, once I got my mindset on doing it, I'll, I do it. Um, the longest I stayed, I did keto for like seven, eight months. I did it for a long time. Um, and I really liked it. But it's just one of them things, once you compromise, it's kind of like sin. Once you sin that one time, it's so easy to fall back into it. Um, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta examine yourself. You gotta watch yourself. Uh, that's just like with a diet or exercise. Um, once you uh, quit exercising for a little bit, well, uh, a week turns into a month. Month turns into several months. Months turns into years. That's kind of where I'm at now. Um, I need to get back into it. Obviously, I need to get back into it. But it's like the first step uh, to do it. Um, it's just, it's just like anything else. Once you, once you eat that bit of sugar or drink that pop or whatever it is, it's so easy to fall right back into old habits. So let's start some new habits. Life, lifestyle change. That's where the main thing is. Is um, is a life child, lifestyle change is really what um, you have to commit yourself to doing. I've done it before um, over, like I said, seven, eight months. Uh, but lifestyle means your whole life. And, you know, I uh, dipped back into bad habits I already had or that, that I had. And um, here we are today. We're going to start it again. Um, you know, that's that's new. That's the thing. You can always you can always start over from fresh and, and, and make yourself better. So if you guys are on board, leave some comments down below. Leave some thumbs up. And I hope you guys... Uh, Hope you guys, hope you guys are supportive of this. I know, I, got, I know you guys will. And if you get a chance, like I said earlier, keeping it Dutch, almost three hundred thousand. A lot of you guys are already subbed to me. If you're not, please go do. If you are, thank you very much. And if you do, thank you very much. And uh, so I got for you today on Dutch Eats. So that's a little update. I do have some. I, had, I think I got a couple cooking videos that I do need to edit and post on here. Um, I did a prime rib, and I think we did like a white chili here a while back. If I can still find that footage, but the prime rib we just did within like the last three days, three or four days, um, when my uncles were in. I um, just have not had time to edit it and put it together. So um, that'll be up and coming too. And I think one of the dogs is walking behind me, seeing the light come on. But anyways, so I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.